Take a look at Joe Stallion. That's me. Rookie quarterback for the Springfield Firebirds. Once a man living the American dream. Now I was a slave to the Reich. It was the end of a long, grueling season. Me and my teammates on the Ultramension team faced the elite Aryan All-Stars in the Uber Bowl. My script was already written. Never score, get roughed up, and make the Reich look good. It was either that, or slaving away, busting rocks in the Hillsboro coal mines until you croaked. So, we played the game. This was no longer a game. This was a puppet show. And I was done being a puppet. So I fired off that ball like an old pigskin. Arrest that man and throw him into the coal mine! Enter Uber Commander Roderick Metzer. I had heard stories about him. Stories from his dentist years. Stories that would make your heart race like a horse. Wait. He might still be of use to the Reich. In parts, that is. <laughs> Enough. Take him to research station Omega. Lights out, football man. <clears throat> As I slipped into oblivion, I heard the boiling anger rising from the crowd. But all I could think of was Metz's face. Where had I seen that face before? Hey, you. You dead, pal? Still here, buddy. Still here. Come here, pal. Wait, you're Gunslinger Joe. Man, the way you used to throw that pigskin. I'm Eric, by the way. What about the game? You sure ruffled Uber Commander met his feathers out there, pal. Listen, he's gonna cut you up. Shut up in there. Come and make me, chump! Listen, man. There's a revolution starting in America. You gotta join the resistance, Joe. Help me bust out of here, then we head up to the top floor of the Oak Street Hotel, where the resistance is. We'll give you a place to lay low. What do you say, pal? That's it. Remember, pal, Oak Street Hotel. Oak Street! This is a lesson, football men. Muscles will always be inferior to the might of the Reich. I wouldn't let Ares' death go to waste. My only chance was to escape this place and get to the Resistance at Oak Street Hotel. I just had to play the game harder from now on. Play rough. This was a place of secret horrors. I knew I had to get out quickly, or I'd end up like the rest of them. This is Uber Commandant Metzer speaking, cell block 101. I have a specimen request. Prisoner 398, Joseph Stallion. Escort him to Laboratory 8C. In pristine condition. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Before the Nazis took over America, Papa taught me how to shoot out on the farm. He said it might come in handy one day. How right he was. Life out is at 1800. No exceptions. Violators will be punished. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alle wach. Gefangener 398 ist aus einer Zelle entflohen. Er ist bewaffnet und gefährlich. Die Person ist dunkelhäutig. Schaffen Sie ihn lebend, wenn möglich. after that. Everyone, this is disgraceful, friends. Did you actually fail to contain a stupid football player? This man made a mockery of the Reich. I expect Gunslinger Joe in shackles by my feet now. Was I supposed to end up like that? Laid out on a slab, waiting to be harvested to create some monstrosity? Glaube ich nicht. Stimmt. Mit. Was? There seemed to be no way out. Or was there? The metallic mutts in the hangar gave me a crazy idea.
It was time to take one of those dogs for a walk. The Nazis were scared. They had the city on lockdown, trying to secure a dam about to burst. Something about turning the Nazis' monstrosity against them felt poetic. I was getting attached to the pooch. Wished it was real for a minute. Then I thought about it spitting fire through my neighborhood. Maybe it's better we had to say goodbye. Closing in on the resistance, a safe haven to rest up.
Joe, you almost missed your appointment. The doctor will see you now. Roderick Metza, you son of a bitch. Your fellow Americans, for Christ's sake, how could you? I'll tell you why. My ancestors were humiliated during the Civil War. I am the fruit of their humiliation. When the Germans came, I knew they were bringing justice and order for the white man. And now, here you are, a slave to the Reich. Order has been restored, and so has my ancestors' honor. Anything to say before I seal your fate, slave? Yeah. Where do I know your ugly Nazi mug from? No. You know what? I'm not going to dirty my hands with this subhuman. I'm not even going to spare him a second thought. You finish him. In a flash, it finally came to me. Those cold eyes. That crooked smile. Metza was the same Nazi who took my father all those years ago.